What's up guys, today we are gonna take a look at the Zebra 3 from Vosun. All right, homies, here is the classic Vosun box. Uh, the kind of box you see on basically all Vosuns. Now this is a beginner's yo-yo. Uh, it retails for, I believe, like $45. Kind of that weird price point where it's not quite super cheap, but it's not expensive either. This one comes equipped with a large bearing. I believe this is sold in both, like responsive and uh, unresponsive. I got the unresponsive version. I'm not, I don't know if this got sent to me from Vosun or if this got sent to me from Yo-Yo Sam. I got this when my phone was broken and I wasn't able to make videos and it, I found this under my couch and I can't remember how I even got it. So to be completely honest, but this is what we have. And yeah, you know, we'll put the specs right there. I mean, it looks pretty nice. I mean, this finish feels good, um, kind of basic laser etching, but I like this laser etching on the inside. That looks pretty cool. We got hub stacks, as you can see, which are, you know, I always like hub stacks. Why not? Even if you don't use them, it's still cool they're on there, right? You know, we got the concave bearing in this one. We got, uh, you know, standard stainless steel axle, nothing crazy there. And, you know, pretty basic for the most part. Um, the pad is actually... They, when they cut it, they cut it. You see that? So it's a great, the, oh, oops. That's, you know, eh, when you get, sometimes Fosun has quality control issues like that. That's not gonna affect anything, but it's kind of weird, right? You know, kind of weird. All right, well, let's uh, go somewhere where we got, you know, some better scenery, better lighting, and uh, play with the thing. All right, homies, we got it all. All strung up here. We're under this beautiful tree. Don't know. Let me know in the comments what kind of tree this is. But I really like it. We got some of these in my area. And this time of year, they are just absolutely wonderful. All right, on first throw, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I didn't know what to, what I was gonna think about this. I mean, I played with the other zebras. It's been a long time. Uh, I do like the feel of it. I like how it's not outrageously wide. Um, this one is really smooth, even with these hub stacks, which hub stacks are awesome. I don't know, I don't know why so many people don't like hub stacks. I think they're super cool. Uh, it's just another thing you can do, you know. Like, even, oh man, we got these Asian beetles. These things right now, I swear, they are just biting the crap out of me. So, if I freak out on some Asian beetles, I'm sorry. The yo-yo kind of makes goofy noises, which often happens uh, with hub stacks, but you know, it's kind of fun. Adds another element to it. Yeah, these hub stacks feel really nice. You can do all sorts of different stuff with this. You could do, you know, you could pull start in the middle of your tricks. You can grab it, change the plane, which is always I, something I thought was really cool. Like, you can be going side style and then turn the yo-yo. And then now it's spinning front style, you know? Really, really cool. Response on this particular model is really nice. I do know that they do sell this in responsive and unresponsive. We have the unresponsive version today, which is, you know, extra fun. These hub sticks, you can catch them on your fingers. Kind of tricky. I'm not the best at it. But the nice thing is, you could even just pull start. So say you wanted to like, you know, do whatever. You like pull start and then freaking turn it on its side. And then from there you can do your DNAs or whatever from there. So if you want to learn DNAs and stuff, learning on a hub stack yo-yo, it's kind of like cheating, but you can definitely learn how to do it, you know, real, really easily. You can even grab the freaking thing, put it back regular, you know, go back to doing whatever with it. Uh, I think this is actually a really good yo-yo. In the $45 price range, it's kind of hard because that's kind of like, it's not a budget yo-yo, but it's also not like a super expensive yo-yo. And you know what? I do feel like this would be like a $30 price point, but with the hub stacks, I mean, you're getting, obviously they get, you gotta put into the factor there's extra bearings, there's extra parts. Um, I think this actually does kind of suit that price point. These white pads aren't my favorite, as you can see right here. Well, that doesn't count because I was holding the freaking thing. But like, look, I'm, I'm holding, just the side of the area, not the hub stack. And I'm able to pull the string out all the way to there before it catches. And uh, 
and the white pads, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. This one's got also got a, like a, like a slit in it. Maybe that has something to do with it. But um, I'm not going to lie, the white pad, um, I would switch those out for some red pads or put in some red flow or, you know, red silicone or maybe even try some flowable silicone. I've always been partial to the red silicone. I also have a video how to do that from like 10 years ago you can watch. Um, but yeah, I actually do like this yo-yo. It's a little slim for what I normally use for 5A, um, but because it's in that $45 price point, I feel like we should try it for a little 5A. So let me grab some dice and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our double dice set up here, and uh, let's see how it goes. Now, first things first, the weight of the yo-yo works basically perfect with my counterweight setup here, so that's good. It is a little on the narrow side, so some tricks might be a little bit harder for you to land on the string, but, you know, it's not outrageously slim or anything where it's going to be, you know, detrimental or anything. I do like having the double dice set up, though, so I can do some, you know, tricks like this and the two small dice is about the same weight as one large Duncan dice so if it's working good as a counterweight setup with this you know it's probably working pretty good if you use your standard large Duncan die or whatever and you can see weights are pretty good I'm a little rusty on 5a as you can probably tell but the yo-yo itself is handling really good um, I do think this is uh, definitely worth its price. It's not, like I'm not like, oh my God, you have to go get this. But at $45, it is pretty good bang for your buck. Um, you know, quality control could be iffy, you know, as you can see with that pad, but it didn't make it vibe or anything like that. So, you know, it's really hard to say. But yeah, I think uh, if you're thinking about this yo-yo, you know, check it out uh, if it's on sale or anything, you know, pick it up. There's a lot of sales going to come up on Black Friday, things like that. This would be one I would check out on that. I don't know if I would just go out and get it, like, right away. If you're a big Boson guy, yeah, check it out. But if not, you know, you, this is one, you know, you might want to check out, depending if you, you know, you think it's, you like yo-yos about this shape and size. It's a little on the slim side. Some people like that. You know, it's easier to go do front style tricks and go faster and stuff like that sometimes. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's a little harder to land, so, you know, the, it's really up to you. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll put a link down below wherever you can get it. Um, until next time, I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you later.